Thank you to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Hey, it's Katie. Welcome back to Steal the Spotlight. Today, I'm finally doing another part in my anime series. This is long overdue, especially considering it's pretty much the only content that really gives me that serotonin boost I so desperately crave. Hopefully, coming in just in time and we're switching it up a little bit today as well instead of taking inspiration from a pre-existing character i'm actually doing what i would wear if i was in said anime i thought that would be fun i don't know just keep the series fresh i've actually already got an idea for the next part as well so let me know your thoughts i'm thinking inspired by characters but what i think they would wear in modern present day so let me know what inclusions you would want to see definitely thinking we need some my hero demon slayer attack on titan jujitsu kaisen action because spoiler alert they're not included today and i feel like everyone's going to come for me so my apologies but um we'll get to them all eventually it's okay we have time so just Leave your requests below, but for now, let's enjoy what we have in store today. I was so happy that after the last time I mentioned Mongo Stray Dogs, so many of you went and watched it and loved it as much as I did. I don't know, just proud moment that we're all on the same page. So I figured I'd do a look inspired by it. Um, the trench coat obviously brings very Darzai energy, so this is probably what I would wear if I was in the detective agency. I just wanted to channel that, I don't know, it's not really dark academia, but it's not light academia either. It lives somewhere in the middle for a lot of the characters in this show, and I figured that this skirt would be the perfect signature piece to emulate that. It's not really my typical style, but I do think it came together quite nicely. As some of you may know, Chuya is one of my all-time favorite characters so i couldn't just rock up in a detective agency fit i wanted to do if i went over to the dark side was part of the port mafia you know do a bit of a reverse darzai moment because she is my ride or die i would not leave him once i found him for that i just kept the same base like i said the skirt is my signature piece so i switched out the jacket for something darker and a heavier fabric as well threw on a harness changed into some black boots and also threw on a hat i don't know i figured maybe that's how they would want to welcome me into the clique as well but yes let me know which you prefer would you be in the port mafia or the detective agency <laughs> Today's anime confession is that I love Black Clover, like so much. I'm um, bordering on one of my favorite comfort animes at this point, and I feel like no one really talks about it unless they want to shit on it. Like, Asta yells too much, babe. He's a shonen main character. It's kind of what they do. If you can look past that, I actually think it's pretty good. I don't know what that says about my taste. I just like some lighthearted fun, I suppose, but yes. Today is what I would be wearing if I was a member of the Black Bulls. I feel like it takes a little bit of inspo from Nero, a little bit from Vanessa. Definitely would look cute if I was standing next to Zora, which I feel like is a good win. I got my little DIY cape moment. It was just a skirt that I chopped up. I think it turned out pretty well. It is kind of unfortunate that the itty bitty titty committee is present. <laughs> Originally, I just put the earmuffs on because I thought it was a cute added accessory, but picture this. Perhaps I am actually an elf trying to disguise my true identity. I actually think that my personality type was the same as Licked. And also, what was the other one called again? Uh, but yes, if you guys do watch Black Clover, please hit me up in the comments who some of your favorite characters are. I think I've mentioned it before, but I have a soft spot for Finn Rule. I also love Vanessa. <laughs> Pretty sure in every general anime video I've done, I've featured JoJo's. Today it's going to be no exception. They are like the style gods. I don't know how they do it. Everything is just so flamboyant and fantastic, which is the energy I was trying to channel here today. And I think we kind of got there. We got this delicious hot pink and I really just wanted to go ham with the leg accessories because when else are you gonna get a chance? It's times like this, I really wish I had some skills in the hair department. JoJo's characters have some of the most unique hairstyles, and I feel like if we could have gone with something crazy, this really would have pushed the look over the line, but unfortunately, we had to work with what we got, and what we have is 
fried hair. Will she ever get tired of creating Haikyuu content? No. Absolutely not. If you guys missed it, I've actually done a full video dedicated to what I'd wear to support each team because I have many issues and Haikyuu brain rot is amongst them. But today I thought I would kind of go for one of the school uniform looks instead. And I don't want to get up here and call Noya out for being a liar, but personally, I'm going to have to disagree. I do not think that Karasuno has the best school uniforms in the district. Um, they're a little bit too boring and bland for my personal taste. So I decided to go with Elba Josai. Despite the fact that Shiro Torizawa is my favorite team, but I mean, I don't think I could make those uniforms work. And also, I'm pretty sure Canon, I would not be smart enough to get into that school. So, Elba Jose, it is no complaints here. You guys know I believe in the Seijo third year supremacy. If I could be part of any friendship clique in the entire show, I think that's where I'd want to be. And I think that would realistically probably be where I am. I think, I don't know, I feel like Maki and Matsan especially would just be like, my two bros. The only main thing that's missing is the tie. I just didn't have one. And also I feel like if I was to wear this outfit out, I would ditch the tie anyway. So I don't know, maybe I just forgot my tie that day. I wound up in detention because of it. Now I'm sitting there with Mad Dog and we're talking about how much we admire Oizumi. I don't know, we should really move on. Otherwise I will sit here and continue to word vomit forever. Okay, I'm putting my blazer back on because I mean business. We're going to be talking about today's video sponsor, which is Surfshark. Firstly, I want to give a quick thank you to them for working with me again on my character inspired lookbooks for 2021. I'm so excited. It also means you guys may be familiar with them from last year, but Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network, which can come in handy for many a things. My personal favorite still being the fact that it can grant you more access on some of your favorite streaming services. So the version of Netflix you see can be completely different to someone on the other side of the world, but with Surfshark, you're able to quickly and easily change your location settings and thus instantly have access to a ton more content. You'll be able to play around with what regions offer more of what you love, whether it's coming over to Australia for that K-drama action. Usually Singapore has a really good selection for anime, but again, you'll be able to discover what locations work best for you. And if you're someone who shares your Netflix with other people, don't worry. Surfshark is actually the only VPN that offers unlimited devices under just one account. And even if you're not at home binge watching, they still have you covered ensuring your privacy and safety online by protecting all of your personal information which is obviously great for those of us who have to make do with that potentially sketchy public wi-fi if you use my code spotlight you can get 83 percent off plus three extra months for free and since surfshark offer a money back guarantee you can try it all risk-free via the link on screen or down below in the description box Despite previously doing looks for both Death Note and Nana, they're still two of my most frequently requested, so I hear you. I'm gonna try them once again today. This is obviously what I'd wear if I was in Nana. I mean, it looks like something Nana Osaki herself would wear, so I guess if I was in the show, I'd be more of like a big fan who's just trying to emulate their icon, which is actually pretty much what I'm doing today anyway, so you don't really have to imagine too hard. And I have probably done a look fairly similar to this before featuring the leopard coat, but I do feel like I've stepped up my game just a little bit. I feel like the key is just getting the right balance of a clashing combination of both patterns and textures. You really can't go wrong with any mix of leopard, stripes, plaid, red, black, white, fishnets, leather, chains, faux fur. You get the gist. Also, can we please just have a moment for this little baby? It is the Nana illustration book, my new pride and joy. These are the sort of things where I wish that favorites videos were still a thing because I've been dying to talk about this. I'm sure some of you probably see a ton of Nana pictures on Pinterest and a large majority of them probably come from this book. But I don't know, there's just something about having a hard copy of something that you love and find great inspiration in. So. I was okay to pay a pretty penny for this. Of course, I had to make my Death Note look loosely inspired by the one and only Nisa Amane. And I like to think of this as if I was one of her model friends because it is kind of similar to her style, but definitely leans more into 
the pink frilly looks that we occasionally see her in. Overall, it's still a general combination you'd see her in, but it's adding some more cutesy elements with the white socks, the Mary Janes, the pink bow accent pieces. Of course, the lace gloves are just a staple for her though, as well as the hairstyle. Although I'd planned this outfit, I hadn't actually tried it on yet, and I was a little bit skeptical if I could pull it off, but I think it's kind of adorable. I'm liking it. P.S. I have a DIY clothing video coming out soon that's also going to feature a Misa Amane inspired piece, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> So my original thought process was just wanting to do something a little bit more simple and everyday and I felt like the world of fruits basket would allow me to do so something a bit more cutesy and sweet like Toru or Kagura and I actually really like how she has the cat backpack to signify her love for Kyo, it's adorable. Actually Kyo is my favourite character as well but I didn't want to just do the exact same thing is Kagura, so I figured let's switch it up. Another one of my fave characters is Haru, and it's perfect because I have this cow print bag, so here we are. It's all falling into place. Like I said, I wanted to do more of a cutesy dress rather than something kind of edgy like Rin, but at the end of the day, if we're trying to signify that we're a Haru stan, I feel like I had to throw in at least some black accessories and chains to some degree. Also, before I move on, I have to share this comment because it has just lived rent free in my mind ever since my last anime video. It's disliked only because of Fruits Basket. All you Fruits Basket fans kind of need help. And I mean, they're not really wrong. I don't think it warranted a dislike per se though. You know, we're just, we're doing our best. We're going through some shit though. I was definitely overdue for an odd on high school host club look and when I saw this blazer on Depop I legit thought it was perfect for a closet cosplay so here we are with this simplistic look which is out of my comfort zone I'm feeling kind of naked with not really any accessories layered on at the moment I was also a little lost when it came to hair but I figured hey it's a 2000 show let's just whip out a side part and call it a day. I don't love the outfit as much in person, at least on me, as I do on the characters in the show. You know, like their pant leg just flares so perfectly over their chunky shoes, which I don't think translates quite as well in person, but hey, they're a 2D character. They get to have that sharpness about them, which I guess is just another way anime is giving us unrealistic expectations for life, so. That's fabulous. But forget all that because I need to know immediately who your favorite host is. I don't know why I'm so nosy when it comes to favorite characters. I legit just need to know. So for me, um, it's a toss up. You guys know I can never make a decision. I love Haruhi, Hikoru, and Mori Senpai. I feel like they're probably my top three, but love them all. I actually only just watched Persona 5 fairly recently, like the beginning of this year, and I didn't not like it, but I didn't fall madly in love with it either. But I did think that their school uniforms had a really cool design, and I love whenever they do that kind of customizable element, so each character has something individual and unique about their look, despite all actually going to the same school wearing the same uniform. I think for the most part they have the girls wearing skirts in this show but I decided to take inspiration from what's traditionally the boys uniform or whatever with the plaid pants. These ones I think are pretty similar except for the fact they are missing the red stripe through them. I just decided to bring the red into the look through the boots instead though. The main character sticks fairly close to the actual uniform and it does have a very chic polished vibe to it so i tried to use those same base elements but added an extra layer which is this corset i wear this thing like crazy so it just felt like a no-brainer to use as my signature piece to help customize the look a little bit i have gotten a few requests to do more conservative looks and i think this is a great example of how you can still have fun with your outfits while still being pretty well covered up. But please let me know if that is a stipulation you need help with when it comes to styling. I'm happy to do a full video on it if that is what people want to see. It feels like there's been a lot of shows already this year that are airing week to week. It's 
a lot for me to keep up with. Um, I really wanted to take inspiration from at least a one and I was feeling the most inspired by Skate the Infinity. That's just a lot of bright, poppy colors going on and I do really like their character designs. Plus, thanks to the setting and premise, it's a lot easier to slip in with an everyday streetwear look. I opted for my coziest, most worn hoodie and I think that this very simplistic color block design would translate really well into a 2D design too. I kept the oversized theme going with the baggy jeans and then the colorful theme going with the mismatched sneakers. You know by now your girl loves to layer and the easiest way to do so when wearing a hoodie I find is with a puffer vest so that's exactly what I did. Oh and of course the beanie because what does a skate rat look without it? I don't actually film the outfits in order and I just realized I didn't film an outro so I'm back in this look just to say thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and just had a chill time enjoying our mutual love for anime. Hopefully we can continue the conversation down below in the comments. Also let me know what animes you want to see me feature in the future because I will continue to make this content for as long as you want to see it. So thank you again for watching. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!